اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء فلكل داء دواء ولكل ابتلاء شفاء الحمد لله ولي المتقين حق من أبل وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منير ما بعد أحب في الله Today I'm going to talk about a disease a disease which is in the heart of a lot of people and that disease is a very dangerous disease it's a disease where it can lead one to kufr and what is that it is a despair despair is a very dangerous disease losing hope and ending up in despair and start saying why me questioning the infliction questioning the diseases questioning everything that is happening to the individual is a very bad sign this is a state of a disbelievers as a believing man a woman we don't engage in despair or hopelessness this is not in the dictionary of a believing man and woman when allah says in the quran inna kunna mubtalin we are ever testing our slaves or our servant you are always going to be tested because this is a darul ibtila is a land is a dunya where there will always be tests you are not here to enjoy you are absolutely not here to enjoy so a believing man or a woman needs to accept what is going through in that way you will find tranquility even inside a calamity no matter what calamity it is when you no accept in the decree and you losing you become hopeless and despair this is when the inflation becomes much tighter and more desperate to come out of it allah rabbul izza says in the quran when the mass of sharf he goes into despair when the evil touches him he goes into despair this is not a state of a believer this is a state of a kafir extreme infliction was there before us allah tests the one who he loves with severe inflictions severe test so from his decrees is that whoever allah loves will test him let's go back to the to the story let's go back to the quran and look at the story of one of the men allah has tested him severely he was into three types of darkness the darkness of the night the darkness of the sea and the darkness inside the belly of well what did he say la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minadh dhalimin there is no lord except you and i'm the wrong do and then following verse allah says wa kadhalika nunji al mu'minin this is how we save the believing man and woman so as a believer you don't need to go to despair or hopelessness allah rabbul izza is the lord and is the king of where everything that he created and in this dar in this dunya nothing shift or does anything that he is not aware so there is no source of security in this world than his security so this should make you content and be happy what you're going through let me tell you some you have no share in this kingdom even one bit it belongs to the majestic malik al mulk the king of kingdom so what needs to happen is oh you who believe who has this disease 
you have to be content with the decree of Allah and be patient and call upon Allah Rabbul Izzah because Allah Rabbul Izzah says in the Quran min amri Allah. He has decreed for you to be protected. Who says that? Allah Rabbul Izzah. So why despair? Because of black magic. And because of jinn. The weak jinn. Because of evil eye. Hasad. Enemies. Brothers. Someone betrays you. Someone comes and shows you sweet heart, sweet tongue. And the next minute he betrays you. Brothers betray you. Mother betray you. Uncle betray you. Or you're in prison. Or you're in disease. Don't go into despair. I repeat. It's not in the dictionary of a believing man or woman. Remember this. Allah says, min amri Allah. He has decreed for you to be protected. The way forward is, Firru ila Allah. Run towards Allah. And repent. And accept. You see, one of the most biggest problem is that the acceptance the acceptance of what's befalling you this is a problem wallahi from wallahi i have seen a lot of people they don't accept for them to be in that state you have to accept it one number two you have to accept it because whatever you are going through allah Rabbul Izzah will reward you so in that in itself it gives the heart peace of mind. So the way forward again, فَفِرُّوا إِلَى Allah, Run towards Allah, repent and accept your fate, whatever has been decreed for you. One thing you should say, Alhamdulillah, is you have not been decreed to be blind or heedless. You are Muslim, praying five times, Salah. If you're not praying, start praying. This is one of the best things, is that you are a believer. Allah says in the Quran, It's not what you wish or what you want. It's what has been decreed. And this is very important. It is very, very important that you accept what has been decreed? It's not what you wish. Uh -uh. It's what has been decreed for you. To be in that state. Struggling with wife. Struggling with children. Struggling with police. Struggling with uh, social workers. Struggling with uh, in-laws. Struggling with uh, whatever this morning wise inflictions, magic, evil eye, genes. You have to accept it. Remember this ayah. Accept your fate. Accept what has been decreed for you. And be content. And fight. If it's the jinn, with du'as. And supplicate to Allah. If it's the enemies, Human enemies, whatever the enemy is, dua, and you will overcome this hurdle and you will see yourself in a higher state. This was a video about despair and hopelessness. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rukhat Talk. Wa akhru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaloon. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.